Today, we're diving into a topic that's bound to spark some interesting reactions. You may have heard shrimp called the cockroaches of the sea before, but why? Is there really any truth to this claim, or is it just a catchy phrase? In today's episode of The Story of Animals, we'll explore shrimp's lifestyle, diet, and role in marine ecosystems to uncover whether this label is fair or just a bit of bad PR for these popular little crustaceans. So where does this term come from? The comparison to cockroaches likely stems from shrimp's scavenging habits. Like cockroaches on land, shrimp aren't picky eaters. They'll consume whatever they can find, from algae and plankton to decaying organic matter. This adaptable diet helps keep their habitats clean as they act as natural vacuum cleaners of the ocean floor removing waste and leftover debris. And while their eating habits might not sound appealing to us, they play a crucial role in recycling nutrients and keeping marine environments healthy. However, that's where most of the similarity with cockroaches ends. Another reason people might link shrimp to cockroaches is their shared classification as arthropods. Arthropods, the largest animal phylum, include insects like cockroaches, as well as crustaceans like shrimp, lobsters, and crabs. Arthropods all have exoskeletons, segmented bodies, and jointed legs. But that's where their differences start to emerge. Shrimp are more closely related to lobsters and crabs than they are to insects, including cockroaches. Their bodies are specifically adapted for life in water, with specialized gills that allow them to breathe and survive underwater. Despite the exoskeleton similarity, they've evolved in very different directions from their land-bound insect cousins. While cockroaches might seem like nuisances to humans, shrimp are highly valued for their contributions to marine ecosystems. Serving as a food source for many marine animals, including fish, birds, and even whales, shrimp are a fundamental part of the oceanic food web. Their presence helps support a complex chain of life, with the health of many species depending on the availability of shrimp populations. In some ways, their role in marine environments is akin to pollinators, like bees on land. They help maintain the balance of their ecosystems, making it possible for a vast range of species to survive and thrive. Another fascinating aspect of shrimp behavior is their role as cleaner shrimp. Certain species, like the Pacific cleaner shrimp, will actually set up shop on coral reefs, offering cleaning services to fish by removing parasites dead skin, and other tiny debris from their scales and mouths. In return, the fish get a thorough cleaning and the shrimp enjoy a meal of parasites and dead tissue. This symbiotic relationship is beneficial to both, showing how shrimp contribute actively to the health of coral reef communities, a behavior cockroaches definitely don't share. One key difference between cockroaches and shrimp is the environments they inhabit. Cockroaches are well known for thriving in unsanitary conditions, especially in urban areas. They often carry pathogens, which can contribute to spreading diseases. Shrimp, on the other hand, primarily live in clean, nutrient-rich marine environments. In fact, Shrimp play a role in maintaining ocean cleanliness by feeding on decaying matter and filtering organic materials. Far from spreading disease, they're more like the custodians of the sea, keeping it clean and habitable 
for countless other species. Here's a fun fact. There are over 2,000 species of shrimp found all over the world. Some shrimp, like the peacock mantis shrimp, are known for their dazzling colors and exceptional vision. Mantis shrimp have compound eyes capable of seeing polarized light and even ultraviolet rays, a visual range far beyond human capacity. Their claws are so powerful they can punch with the force of a bullet, earning them the nickname thumb splitters among divers. So, when you picture shrimp, remember it's a diverse group with some truly impressive members. Of course, we can't discuss shrimp without mentioning their significance to humans. Shrimp are one of the most popular seafoods globally, with millions of tons consumed each year. They're also a significant part of coastal economies, supporting the livelihoods of people who work in fishing, farming, and processing industries. Sustainable shrimp farming is becoming a priority to balance the demand for shrimp with the health of marine ecosystems. Thanks to eco-friendly practices, more consumers can enjoy shrimp while supporting environmental preservation, keeping oceans clean and shrimp populations stable. Now, if shrimp are the cleaners of the sea, you might wonder, are we eating dirty shrimp? The answer, fortunately, is no. While shrimp do scavenge and eat decaying matter, they digest and filter nutrients through a complex digestive system, eliminating waste just like any other animal. Additionally, before shrimp reach our plates, they go through a rigorous cleaning process. In the fishing and farming industries, shrimp are thoroughly cleaned, deveined, and processed to meet food safety standards. This ensures they're safe to eat and maintain their fresh, mild flavor. So, while they might act as the janitors of the ocean, the shrimp you enjoy are anything but dirty. So, are shrimp really the cockroaches of the sea? Not quite. While they may share a few habits like scavenging and adaptability, shrimp are unique creatures with important ecological roles. They are more like the caretakers of the ocean, ensuring the health of marine ecosystems by recycling nutrients, cleaning up organic waste, and even providing spa services for other marine life. The next time you see a shrimp, remember it's a vital part of an intricate oceanic web, not a pest. Thanks for tuning in to the story of animals. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.